a knowledge of the past is crucial for understanding of the present. Um, China has a historical basis to claim that island. Actually, that is a legacy of World War II. After the war, um, Japan returned all those islands, the Shisha Island, the Nansha Island, to China. The UK, the US, the Russia, all agreed upon it, the Allied forces. So in 19, as early as 1947, China published this nine dotted line that claimed uh, the territory that it claims today. No, they disputed it. And now China is the world's second largest economy, and all of a sudden, um, some countries may or may not be emboldened by the U.S. pivot to Asia, and they're making an issue out of it and calling out China. So China basically thinks that it is the U.S. who's stirring up the tension in the region. When Washington have 500 or over 500 times a year some um, surveillance, reconnaissance missions, just 200 um, kilometers off the island of Hainan, um, China is upset about it. And uh, we think that uh, it is Pentagon that is stirring up the tension and uh, they should um, pay attention to historical perspectives. The United States has been urging China to resort the disputes to international law and through multilateral mechanisms, mm -hmm. and namely the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea. But what's funny is the United States of America is not even a signatory, did not even sign or ratify that very convention that he urges China to observe. So I don't think uh, what is the moral authority of a country that urges others to pay attention to a law it itself do not ratify. Um, so yes, there are overlapping claims. If you look at the nine dotted line, that is pretty large that the Chinese uh, claims this territory. Uh, the Philippine, that overlaps with the Philippines' 200 uh, kilometer ex explosive <laughs> economic zone. So I think, yeah, uh, people should um, solve this peacefully and put it to uh, international court and re resolve it diplomatically. And the UN Convention on Law of the Sea did not really specify a way out. So I think that takes um, bilateral diplomatic approaches to solve this issue peacefully. I think that we'll see that. Um, here you hear a lot of uh, noises about, oh, China is being aggressive, and starting a war. Don't forget, the last time China was in a war was in the late 1970s. So it took China 35, 40 years to start a war. Uh, how many years does it take for U.S. for the U.S. to start a war? So um, I think some worries, some um, concerns are not grounded, and uh, I don't think there should be a concern for any military conflict. No, I don't think so.